championship night of the girls' fourth region basketball tournament for the same two teams we had last year, Barron County and Bowling Green. Of course, Barron County won the regional title last year over the Lady Purples. They hope to make it two in a row here tonight. The Barron County is rated number two. Bowling Green's been rated number one in the region all season long. So we'll see what happens. We started out with 17 teams in the fourth region and then came here to the tournament with eight. Now we're down to the final two. Winner tonight goes to Rupp Arena next week in Lexington for the girls' Sweet 16. We're about 30 minutes away from tip-off. Let's go to Brian Webb, who has fans in the stands. Thank you, Jay Turner. Here we are courtside. It's the ship tonight. We're getting ready to see what... Uh, What's going to transpire out here? Outback Steakhouse gives us fans in the stands. This is Brian Webb here on 103.7 Nash Icon. I tell you what, uh, we've seen this before. It's happened before, and now it's happened again. But I'm going to hang out with Warren D. Cunningham. because He's one of my favorite coaches on the planet, and uh, he's got a stake in this one. His Trojanettes are playing, man. Tell me what they're going to have to do to get past these uh, Lady Purples tonight, Coach. Well, I think a lot of it's just going to keep playing like they have been. They've shot lights out here for um, most of two games, especially last night. So just um, a whole lot of Elizabeth Bertram, and uh, she's got to have some help tonight. That was my next question. Who do you think is going to be the X factor there for the Trojan S that, that might, maybe comes out of the shadows a little bit? Uh, either Raven Ennis or Carly Delk, two good options right there. Uh, Katie Murphy, if you remember, made some big shots for us last year in the regional tournament and the state tournament. So. Uh, we've got a lot of options, and uh, I think a lot of those girls will step up. Yeah, last night, Ennis had a big showing with, uh, I think she had 11 or 12 rebounds. And, you know, when you got somebody that's getting offensive and defensive rebounds like that, it keeps you in it uh, no matter who you're playing a lot of times. Yeah, and it's uh, such a big help for our team. we got a lot of girls that can help handle the ball and pass the ball and, uh, you know, got some other scores too. So it's, uh, it's, a, it's a lot of girls contribute, and that's a big reason why our team's still playing. I, I don't know if you watched last night's game. I'm guessing you were here. I was running around. And- uh, I wanted to kind of get your thoughts on the Lady Purples. I know that we saw, I think she's a freshman, which blows my mind, uh, Meadow Tisdale last night with 20 boards uh, and almost as many points. H- have you seen a freshman dominate like that? No, not really, and she cer- certainly does not look like a freshman, nor does she play like one. Uh, but they've got a really physical team. They're athletic, and, uh, you know, I think Calvin Head's a, an excellent coach. Does He always did a good job with the boys uh, when he was coaching at, at Todd and at Russellville, so – uh, you know, they'll they'll be ready to go. It'll be a, it should be a good game tonight. Yes, it will be, Coach. And, uh, hey, man, let's play a little something. <laughs> you know, I'm going to play some fun. I'm going to have some fun with you, Jay, over here. We got uh, we got this going on, and, and Jay's waving at you over there. Yeah, Jay, give me some help here with the uh, with the answers. Just raise your hand when we get to the right one. <laughs> you know, it's funny. People don't realize it but because we don't tell anybody, but Jay and I can't hear each other during this whole tournament. So uh, if we – design or is that an act? By design that we don't trip each other up. No, it probably sounds just as good. But let's play. Let's play. Start with the true and false, coach. An easy one here. All right. The Australian wildfires, as sad as they've been, uh, to date have burned roughly 12.6 million hectares, which translates to 29 million acres, and an estimated emitted over 434 million cubic tons of CO2 in the atmosphere. I'm going to say that's true. It's true, but that's a mind-boggling amount. Yes, it really is. It's uh, yeah, it's it's uh, a whole. Lot. I hear you. Nice, nice, easy. Which Australian-born man became famous as the founder of WikiLeaks? Is it you, Jackman, Julian Assange, Paul Hogan, or Nick Cave? I think I, I I listened to y'all's the other night, and I think it's B. It's B, right? Julian Assange, you're right, man. That's why I switched these things up the other night. Right. I was like, they're, they're memorizing. I got that one. All right, here's a good one for you. And they'll pay homage to our sponsor, Outback Steakhouse. But right now, you can get steak and lobster starting at $16.99, Warren. I know you like that. In what year did Outback Steakhouse hit Tampa, Florida as the first ever for what is now over 1,000 locations nationwide? Is it A, 1991, the year I graduated? Or was it B, 1990, C, 88? Or D, 19 and 79. I'm just going to go with C. Everybody, you're like the fifth person that's got that right. The 88, I don't, know what I, I don't know what I did wrong there, but everybody's that got That was a great guess, and everybody has gotten it so far. All right, last one. Last one for what is going to, no matter what, you're going home with a T-shirt tonight. So that's good. Which Australian animal has cubed shape? Extrament. That's a good question, you know, and it's something you think. About Who came often. up with these? 
I think this one was Cameron Coates, actually, for Wobo 106.3. Is it a freckle neck lizard, a wombat, platypus, or a yellow belly three toad skunk? Let's go with the last one, D. Yellow belly three, it's a wombat, my friend. Coach, uh, we'll see you next season, and Trojans will be fired up, ready to go. That's right. Thank you. Jay, Cole, we're going to switch it back over to you, and we'll try to grab a purple fan when we come back. All right. We're about 25 minutes away from Bowling Green at Barron County and the championship of the Girls' Fourth Region Tournament here at Dental Arena. Winner goes to Rupp Arena next week in Lexington for the Girls' Sweet 16. And we'll come back with more fans in the stands. Brought to you by Don Franklin Auto Glasgow. Fourth Region Basketball Tournament presented by Sky CTC on 103.7 Nash Icon. Let's go back to Brian Webb, who's on the Bowling Green side of the court. Thank you, Jay Turner, over here on the Lady Purple side of things. And what's going to be, I'm telling you, one heck of a ball game tonight, and there's no question about it. Uh, these, this team, we've seen it happen before, uh, Jay. It's always exciting, and I don't think we're going to see anything different tonight. But I'm over here with fans in the stands, out bike steak ass, and husband and wife combo over here. I'm, I'm going to make her talk simply because she pushed it off on you. Mr. Lawson, uh, we're going to have some fun with it. Who am I talking to? This is John Lawson, and that's my wife, Laura, that's keeping the book for the Lady Purples. Yes, she is, and she's an important lady. So, uh, <laughs> DG, come down to help out. He did good last night. He did good last night. All right, we're going to do it. He knows some of these answers. Matter of fact, I don't think he missed one last night. I didn't win anything. You, you didn't win anything, did you? That's terrible. You did miss one, though. All right, so you, you can redeem yourself by helping uh, Mr. Lawson out tonight. In what year did Outback Steakhouse hit Tampa, Florida as the first ever in what is now over 1,000 locations nationwide? Is it 91, 1990, 88, 1979? I'm going to go with 1988. Oh, that's the coach over here coaching you up, D.D. Cheryl. I saw I read. Hey, I can read lips, Coach. All right, here we go. True or false? In hectares, 12.6 million. In acres, 29 million. The Australian wildfires have burned roughly that many acres and emitted 434 million tons of CO2 into the atmosphere. I would say that's right. Yeah, that's right, and that's unbelievable. Looking over here. DG said that's what he <laughs> – no, no one says. He was double teamed over there in the corner. All right, there's a giant uh, sandstone uh, monolith there. It's called Uluru. Or Ayers Rock, it's been there how many years? 200,000, 150,000, 500,000, or D, a dingo ate your baby. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to defer to my wife on this one. <laughs> All 
All right, we're going to go with the official scorekeeper, Miss Lawson. Which one is it? 200,000, 150, 500,000, or a dingo? See. You got it. We got a winner, Lawson, over here. The Purples, Coach, what are we going to see in this one tonight, man? A uh, really good basketball game. Um, we got to contain their good guard. We got to make the game fast, really, really fast, early. I feel like the Purples are going to make some Trojanette that we don't see as much have to step in and be the X Factor. Absolutely. I think that, you know, their, their guard, she is, she's a really, really good player, and they're going to give her a lot of attention. But they, I think Barron's going to have to run tonight. And well, I think we have to run. Attack the rim, attack the rim, attack the rim. Coach, appreciate your comments. Mr. Lawson, always a pleasure. I'll be back with you. Uh, you're our winner tonight. I think you've won this before. They're gonna think there, there's going to think that there's something, and we're in cahoots, so there's a coup. But there's no coup. Out back. Yeah, DG, you can win something. I'll have to bring it with me tomorrow, though. And there's nobody here tomorrow, right? <laughs> hey, uh, Jay, I'm going to send it back to you. I'll back Steakhouse, man. No rules, just right. Right there on Scottsville Road. Walkabout Wednesdays and Bloomin' Onions. Those are my favorite, Jay. All right. Thanks, Brian. Just a little less than 20 minutes away from our championship game of the girls' fourth region tournament between the defending champs, Barron County, and Bowling Green has been the number one team in the region all season long. We'll come back with our pregame report brought to you by Computer Land. As this is the Don Franklin Auto Glasgow Fourth Region Basketball Championship. Presented by Sky CTC on 1037 Nash Icon. Don virus malware and com- 781 9990 the lady purples of bowling green 27 and 6 ranked number one of the region all season long defeated russellville sunday 61 29 and then russell county last night to get to the championship game 47 to 29 bowling green has won 18 of their last 19 ball games they're making their third straight fourth region championship game and their fourth in five years. Two years ago, they won it over South Warren, and then last year lost to Barron County in the championship game, 47 to 35. A team that averages 57 and a half points a game. They give up 39 and a half. They uh, make three and a half threes per ball game. 
Barron County coming from 14 down at the start of the fourth quarter to come back and defeat Warren East on Monday night, 59-55, and then blew out Logan County last night, 72-43. Eight-game win streak for the Trojanists. They've been rated number two in the region all season long. And uh, you look back over the records uh, as far as the two teams have met this season. It was on December the 7th, in which Bowling Green won 64-51 at Bowling Green. Barron County shot 36.4%. Bowling Green shot 36%. Barron was only 3 of 12 on threes. Bowling Green was 2 of 4. The difference was at the free throw line. Bowling Green had 26 of 33 foul shots. Barron County only 8 of 18. Despite the fact the Trojanettes did out-rebound Bowling Green that game, 33-29, but it was Lynn Kayla James that had 23. Keosden Jones had 16, and Zania Shelton had 12 in the game for Bowling Green. Raven Ennis had 13. Carly Delk, 10. Macy Lockhart, 10. Elizabeth Bertram only scored five points in that first game against the Lady Purples on one of five from the field. Now, the second time was on January the 7th, one month later. Bowling Green won by 21, 61 to 40. Trojanette shot 21.8%. They were 12 of 55, only hit four out of 23s. And Elizabeth Bertram had 15 points in that game. Got out rebounded 36 to 23. Bowling Green shot 53.3%. 11 of 17 from the field. They had five players in double figures as uh, Meadow Tisdale had a double double, 12 points and 12 rebounds. And then it was uh, T. Austin Jones, when Kayla James, along with. Uh, Alana Gurley and also G- uh, Janina uh, Braley, they all had 10 points in that uh, win over the Trojanettes. And here we are, Robert, on March the 7th. Will it be lucky number seven for the Trojanettes today? We're happy to be here. Happy to see a big Trojanette crowd back here behind us tonight. I knew we had travel well and everybody's still rolling in, but I've I've written down 11 or 12 things. I think there's a ton of things that we have to do tonight to win this basketball game. But I'll start with kind of the non-basketball checklist that we have going with us tonight. You know, this is a new set of nerves for the kids. And they're in a different position maybe than they were last year. Losing four starters, we're now coming in as the underdog. Last year, we were the favorite. So there's a little bit more pressure. And and we're out of our routine. We didn't go to school today, obviously, on a Saturday. So you've had all day to think about it. All day to think about, oh, Lord, this is the region championship game. So we've got to manage all those, bottle them up, and come out here and get into a good start and, and just trust the process that, that you've had to get here with 28 wins. You know, that doesn't happen overnight. And region championships don't happen very often. You think about how long you've been doing this, how long I've been doing this. You know, we haven't been to very many region championship games. So I know it's back-to-back. I know they've been here three times in a row, but we can't take those for granted. And, and we really have to learn from those previous matchups. Learn what we did wrong and build on that and, and, and get better and use that to our advantage tonight. And ultimately, when it's all said and done, we have to enjoy the night. Enjoy being here. Enjoy that you you have the opportunity that not a whole lot of people have. Other 15 teams in the region aren't playing tonight. Yep. So you're you're a winner in that aspect, but you'd definitely like to be a winner cutting down the nets. That is true. Barron County averages 61.1 points a game, give up 45.7, and average 5.2 threes. A ball game. There's only been six teams in the fourth region that have won back-to-back titles in the past 45 years. Allen County, Scottsville, Warren East, Franklin Simpson, and Bowling Green. Bowling Green was the last team to win back-to-back titles 2010 and 2011. Allen County, Scottsville won it in 76, 77, and won it three times, 99, 2000, and 2001. Warren East won it twice back-to-back. 81-82, 92-93. Franklin Simpson won back-to-back titles twice. 86-87, 08, and 09. And then uh, Logan County won it twice, 89-90, back-to-back. And then uh, Clinton County, 02-03. So can Barron County be added to that list? They would be the seventh team on the March the 7th. Hope so. We were right in the mix in the Allen County run in the early 2000s. We were right there with Clinton County. We were right there with Franklin Simpson. So, you know, we've been there a long time. Uh, so it, it's crazy to say with our history that we've never won back-to-back. So it would be nice to put up two back-to-back banners and put that on our checklist. More of our pregame coverage here from Diddle Arena in a moment. We're 11 minutes away from Barron County, Bowling Green, the championship between the top two teams in the region. And this is the Don Franklin Auto Glasgow Fourth Region Basketball Tournament presented by Sky CTC on 1037 Nash Icon.
Jackson, Nash Icon. Bowling Green last night defeating Russell County's 47-29 in that ball game. Freshman Meadow Tisdale had a double-double, 17 points and 20 rebounds in the game against Russell County. And in Barron County, 72-43 win last night over Logan County. Elizabeth Bertram scored 31 in that ball game. Raven Ennis almost had a double-double with nine points and 13 rebounds, and so did Carly Delk. She had 13 points last night and nine rebounds against Logan County. And in the uh, game against Warren East, it was Elizabeth uh, Bertram that took over in the fourth quarter. She scored 19 points in the fourth quarter, finished with 29. to come back from behind to defeat Warren East. And it was an easier win for uh, Bowling Green on Sunday afternoon when they beat Russellville 61-29. to uh, Shania Shelton had 22 points in that game for the Lady Purples. We'll come back and uh, look at the lineups of tonight's game, this championship of the girls' fourth region tournament here from Denton Arena, the campus of Western Kentucky University. When we return, this is the Don Franklin Auto Glasgow fourth region basketball tournament presented by Sky CTC on 103.7 Nash Icon. Hello, this is Rosie the Skunk for Atmos Energy. You might think I make a bad smell. I mean, of course you do. Why wouldn't you? After all, I'm a skunk. But my stinky fragrance is nothing compared to the rotten egg smell of a gas leak, because that could be dangerous. So if you think you smell a leak or encounter other signs such as hearing a hissing or blowing sound or seeing a vapor cloud, blowing dirt or bubbling water, do not smoke, talk on the phone, turn on or off equipment or vehicles, or do anything that could cause a spark. Leave the area immediately. Then call 911 and Atmos Energy. Atmos Energy will send a trained technician to investigate the situation. Take it from a skunk. Gas leaks just plain stink. Seriously, there's no gray area here. When dealing with gas leaks, it's black and white. Yep, that's a little skunk humor there. For more information, visit atmosenergy.com slash gas safety. Video Happy Show. Brought to you by Hardee's. Eric, you're on with Happy. Hey, Happy, I'm applying for a mortgage and I'm debating a 15-year or a 30-year rate. Forget about the property ladder. Get on the burger ladder. What? The new BFC Angus Thick Burger from Hardee's has a crispy wheel of cheese on top. You're right. As long as I have a good burger, I'll always have a place to call home. Exactly. Call in next time at 1-833-HI-HAPPY. Available for a limited time only at participating Hardee's restaurants. Feed your... Prepare to have your mind blown by Coke Zero Sugar with great Coke taste lasers. Can we cut all that? That's not going to convince anyone. Coke Zero is now Coke Zero Sugar with great Coke taste. Some people were excited to hear the news. Some were skeptical. And none of this noise is going to convince you that Coke Zero Sugar has great Coke taste because the only thing that will make you believe that is trying it yourself. And lasers! No, no lasers. Ice cold Coke Zero Sugar. Try one today.
Grand Technical College. Welcome back to Dill Arena for championship night of the girls' fourth region tournament between Bowling Green and Barron County. Bowling Green has two wins over the Trojanettes this year, both at Bowling Green. They came in number one, ranked all season long. Barron County's been number two all season long, and the winner of this game tonight will play the winner of the 16th region Thursday night at 5.30 Central Time at Rupp Arena in Lexington. They'll play either Boyd County or Russell for the championship uh, here tonight. So Boyd County, Russell out of Region 16. Let's take a look at tonight's lineups brought to you by Ken Bird Realty and Auction. Go to BYRDAuction.com. Buying or selling, Ken Bird has first-class auctions. And remember, Bird is the word. For the Lady Purples of Bowling Green under third-year head coach Calvin Head, a record of 27-6. and six. They'll start Key Osden Jones of 5 7 six. To our right, also got uh, Trojanette fans behind the Barron County bench as well. Bowling Green fans across the way and their student section down to our left. As the starters are being introduced, Barron County in black uniforms tonight with burgundy and gold numbers and letters. And Bowling Green will be in their white uniforms with purple numbers and letters. Bowling Green across the front of their jerseys. And here we are, championship night. Second year in a row the Trojanettes have been here and hoping to go back-to-back -back trips to Rupp Arena next week, but going to have to pull off what you would say a mild upset over Bowling Green tonight in order to do so. Bowling Green is a six-point favorite by pretty much all the ranking services, and that's actually been cut down a little bit. It yeah. was closer to 10 earlier in the year. Uh, so I The RBI that's, has them by three. I think that's pretty fair. I mean, uh, Bowling Green has obviously earned the number one rating in the in the two previous matchups, and uh, nobody except Russell County in our region has been able to beat them. They won 18 out of 19. They're playing great basketball. Uh, so this time of the year, you play the game for a reason, and uh, you just throw it up see what happens. You've got to be there at about five minutes to go. You have to give yourself a chance. 
And then I think everything just just uh, is a toss-up from that point on. Yeah. This is 1037 Nash Icon, WHHT FM, Cave City, Glasgow. 104.7, the score, WCDS Glasgow. Online at 104 thescorecom Barron County moving right to left here in the first half. Bowling Green coming left to right for this fourth region championship game of the girls. Of course, the boys resume Monday night with the semifinals. Bowling Green, Logan County at six. Warren Central, Clinton County in the night cap. We'll have both those games here on the radio Monday night with a championship on Tuesday night. Raven Ennis in the jump circle for Barron County. Meadow Tisdale for Bowling Green. And Hannah Reynolds will toss it up, and here we go. It's going to be controlled by Bowling Green. Shelton handles the basketball out front, gives it off to Husky. Now Husky back to Shelton. They set a screen for her. She drives down, throws it up against the glass, and puts it in. And it is 2-0 Bowling Green as Murphy gets it across the line. Guarded out there by Husky. Trying to set things up for the Trojanettes. Goes left side with it. Dumps it. Oh, bad pass. Jones has got it. For Bowling Green, Jones now backs out behind the arc, gives it out to Shelton. So a turnover by Barron County here in the early going without getting a shot off. Here's Husky working it into the paint, throws up the shot. It's short. May have got blocked. Nelk got out of there with it for the Trojanettes. Gives to Bertram. And now Bertram stepping back, wanted to shoot the three, gives it off to Murphy, and she'll set it up. And a decent look. Now wants to drive with it, left of the lane. Sends it back out to Bertram. Bertram working around the top of the horn. Can't shoot. They double-team her. They go into Delk. Kicks it back over to Jackson. Three ball in the air is going to be short. Underneath, here's Raven Ennis turning, putting it back up and in. Can't Husky on her. Could have went right back up. Instead, she spun around a few times. Still found the middle of the rim. It's a 2-2 ball game. Jones is in a trap. She's in trouble. Throws it off to Shelton. They give it in the middle, and there's a traveling violation on Husky. Got a little bit of a hurry, and Barrett... Barron will get it back with 6.37 to play here in the first quarter. We're tied at two. I don't know how much we'll press them, but a lot of times teams that press do not like to be pressed, that old adage. Uh, we'll get a fir- turnover right the first time we do it. Murphy now will work it across the midcourt stripe. Angles off right. Her defender fell down. Anis lost the handle, and here comes Jones with it. Jones with it for Bowling Green, driving all the way to the bucket, puts it up and in. Been careless with the basketball on a couple of possessions. Two turnovers on our three possessions. And you can't do that against a team like Bowling Green. No, sir. Lady Purple's lead it four to two. Played almost two minutes of the opening quarter. Murphy goes right side, almost fell down with it. Kept the dribble going, though. Needs help. Coming out to get it is Jackson. Jackson now works against Jones. Dribbles left side. Now looking for Bertram. Lobs it to Bertram. Shovel pass it to Delp. Throws it up. Back to him. And he used the window. For the Farmers Bank and Trust Bank shot. Farmers Bank and Trust helping with all your banking needs on Scottsville Road in Bowling Green. Here's Shelton driving. And the shot goes up. It's no good. Rebound put back up and in and a foul. Well, that's the first thing I wrote on the list of about 12 or 13 was to rebound the basketball. Meadow Tisdale off the boards and limit their offensive rebound. We haven't played three minutes. She's got one and an and one opportunity out of it. Meadow Tisdale, a 53% foul shooter on the year for Bowling Green. 5'11 freshman, puts it up. It's no good. Delk claims the board for the Trojanettes. She gives it to Bertram and now bounces it off to Murphy. 6-4, Bowling Green leads it. Championship game of the fourth region tournament. There's a pass to the high post to Ennis. Turns, flips it back off to Murphy. Murphy fires it back out to Ennis. 18 foot of the air. No good. Tisdale with a rebound for Bowling Green. Tisdale. Working into the front court, angles off to the right side, drives under, puts it up and in. Instead of sliding over to take the charge, we just slid out of her way conveniently. Eight to four, Bowling Green. Here's Jackson cut off by Tisdale, kicks it back out to Ennis, bounces down low to Delk. She turns, passes deflected. Ennis catches it, though, as she works against Shelton, rather against uh, Gurley. Ball goes off her leg and out of bounds. She tried to pass it down low. Ennis to get the ball in play. Comes out to Murphy. Gives it back to Ennis. Going to fire up a long three. And it's good. Put a little extra arch on that one to make sure to get over the front of the rim and give it a chance. Oak tree three for Raven Ennis. Makes it eight to seven. Bowling Green leads it by one. Here goes Tisdale again. Goes up with a shot. It's short as Jackson defended her. 
And Jackson reached in to tie it up, and Meadow Tisdale is going to be called for the foul. Her first and Bowling Green's first. Really got lucky there. We were able to stay vertical on the defense and then get her to commit the foul on the rebound. 4.42 to play here in the first. Murphy with the basketball. Works it across the line. They tried to reach in on her, and they're going to call her for a double dribble. She crossed over right in front of Husky's face. I'm not sure. Didn't protect the basketball what that was. And so Bowling Green will have the basketball as Jones will toss it in. Comes out to Husky. Husky sends it left side over to Shelton. Gets a screen from Gurley. Dribbles to the top of the key. Now throws it back left side to Husky. Husky trying to penetrate from the left. Can't go. Back out to Shelton. Hands it back to Husky. Now gives it back to Shelton once again. <laughs> that was an odd exchange. Yeah, I'm not sure what they're trying to set up. Double screen on the right. They give it to Jones. Jones going to drive. In the corner, Tisdale goes up the baseline, puts it up. It's good. Awfully late rotating there. We beat, uh, got beat by one, and she had it the whole way. Down the court is Jackson. Jackson fakes the three, drives in, trying to go into Tisdale, and it goes off Tisdale and out of bounds. Right idea, going at Tisdale with that one, picking up two. In for Bowling Green is Janaya Bailey, a 5'8", 8th grader, and Lynn Kayla James, number 44, is a 5'11", sophomore. The matchups get harder now, much yeah. harder. Comes into Delft, looking for Bertram, hands it back to her, steps back, shoots the three ball. It's no good. Rebound to Jones for Bowling Green. Sends it down the floor, working in the paint, goes in traffic, and has it taken away from her by Eve Jackson. Here comes Murphy, pushing it down the floor on the left side. Throws it back off the deck, has a shot blocked by Tisdale, but it comes back out. Here's Jackson going into the paint, throws up the left-hand shot. It's no good. Tisdale with a rebound for Bowling Green. Allen pass, chasing it down. It is Bailey. She lays it up and in. Getting beat up and down the floor right now by Bowling Green. Bowling Green leads it 12-7 to with 3.20 to play here in the first quarter. Murphy gives it out to Ennis. Now Ennis getting defended out there by Tisdale, gives it back to Murphy. Almost fell down with it. Try to go left side. Bailey, or rather, Murphy drove to the basket, hit the bottom of the backboard. Here comes Jones with it for Bowling Green. Speeding down the floor, cuts back left in the lane and just threw it away right in the hands of Carly Dell. They tried to dish it off to Tisdale. And here's Ennis feeding it off underneath. And here's Jackson, the baseline. Got it. Lucky there. Three L and one. You get a 12 footer. You got to hit it. 12 to nine. Bowling Green with a three point lead. 243 left in the opening quarter. As Shelton handles the basketball, sends it off to Tisdale on the right wing against Ennis. Looking for James inside. Here's Jones with it on the left side with it for Bowling Green. Out top now to Shelton. Aaron County man-to-man defense. They go right side to the corner to Tisdale. Throws it back out and almost thrown away. And uh, Jones had to go chase it down almost to midcourt. And now Shelton leaves it out there with Tisdale. 2.08 to play in the first quarter. Left side is Shelton. Shelton fakes, drives, cut off, spins. Goes right side of the lane. Shot goes up. Good. They're making some tough shots right now. 14-9. Bertram gets it across behind the back dribble. Wants to penetrate. Down the lane. Shelton's underneath the Delk and she puts it in. Moved Elizabeth to the point one possession. I don't care if she gets 20 points. If yeah. she has 20 assists, we'll win the game. 14 to 11. Jones wants to work off the screen. Can't shoot. Tisdale with it. Left side. It goes to Bailey. Bailey wants to curl into the lane. Gives it back out to James. Straight away with a three. Got it. That looked good. Big girl stepped out with nice form on that three. Oak tree three for Lynn Kayla James. Gives Bowling Green a 17 to 11 lead. Here comes Murphy with it. Down the left side of the lane. Gives it off to Delk in the corner. Kicks it out to Ennis. Top of the key. Can't shoot. And now looking for Jackson. She throws it away. Little out of sorts. Point guard's got to come get it in that situation. And Gurley back in the lineup for Bowling Green, replacing Tisdale. James, you're, you're thinking she doesn't step out and shoot the three very often. That was her 11th three, but she shoots over 42% from three. Mm. Shelton with it between the circles. So we come down to one minute to play here in the first quarter. Left side is Jones. Now top is James. Works against Delk. Kicks it off in the right corner. Bailey goes up the baseline. A whistle and a blocking foul. And it's going to be on Carly Delk, and that's her second. 
Yeah, that's the trouble we can't get into. The fourth thing I have written down is stay out of foul trouble. Carly's the most important one because who do we throw in there now to guard James, who had a huge game against us the second time? Bailey's at the line. The shot rims off. And Piper Lindsay's going to bring in Macy Lockhart. 5'9 freshman for Carly Delk. We'll have to sit out with those two fouls at 55 seconds to play here in the first quarter. It's a big assignment for the freshman, but she's tough enough to handle it. She's just got to make sure she's in the right position. Bailey back to the line for one more shot. It's on the way, and it comes off. Rebound to Lockhart. Trojanette's down six with 52 seconds to play in the first quarter. And they're face guarding Elizabeth Bertram. That's Shelton. They give it to Jackson, top of the key. Right side, Lockhart fakes, drives against James, goes under, puts it up and in. Great move. She drew the big girl out. Give her a little ball fake, get her up the floor, beat her with the dribble. 17-13, Bowling Green, Jones with it on the right side. Gives it out to Shelton. 28 seconds to play in the quarter. Now Shelton goes right side with it to Gurley. They go into James, works it inside, puts it up. It is blocked in there. Ennis comes up with the ball, gives to Murphy. Murphy throws it way down the court to Lockhart. Leaves it out there with Ennis for the three. No good. Follow up, no good for Jackson. Had a chance to get it to two. Four seconds to play. Here's Shelton losing the handle. Jackson's got it, and that will do it for the first quarter. After one at Diddle Arena, girls' championship of the fourth region. It's Bowling Green 17, Barron County 13. We'll be back after this break. This is the Don Franklin Auto Glasgow fourth region basketball tournament. box for a faster throw to second or to hit that ball a mile call batter's box of the diamond 270-904-4487 that's 270-904 hits because that's what they deliver over 50 combined years of player development Elizabeth's got a big zero after eight minutes he does have a few assists but we've had a we've had a, a night to prepare for it but we you know we have to be able to get her involved in the offense where that comes from moving her to the point guard might be an option uh, but Got to have something going with her. Second quarter, Elizabeth Bertram will toss it in for the Trojanettes. She's guarded by Shelton. Gets the ball in play out to Murphy. Right side, it goes to Jackson. Now Jackson looks, sends it back to Bertram. Fakes, trying to step back to shoot the three. She can't. Cross-court pass comes over to Lockhart in the left corner. Lockhart's guarded by Tisdale. Back out to Murphy. Swings it over to Ennis. Right side, it goes to Jackson. Jackson looking inside. Nobody there. Couple of dribbles. Gives it back to Murphy. Drives the basket. Puts it up. It is good. Good left-hand move by Katie. That cuts the lead to two at 17 to 15. Jones with it. Gives it back out now to Shelton. Shelton on the dribble for the Lady Purples. You're not going to believe this, but we're in a zone. Start to move to the right. We haven't seen that before. Meadow Tisdale, a little head fake. Baseline throws up the shot. No good. Ball's tapped out to the corner. Saved by Jackson. She's in trouble, trying to dribble up the sideline, lobs it up to Bertram. Bertram cuts to the left and back to the right, and she drives the basket, flips it up. It's no good. Rebound by Lockhart. Lockhart comes out of there with it. Now fires up a 15-footer. No good. Rebound by Gurley. That would have tied the ball game right there. We're still in it. 3-2 zone by the Trojanettes. I like the move, but you got to rebound out of it. Yeah. you got to know where especially Meta Tisdale is. Here's Shelton with the top of the key. Feeds it in there to Tisdale. Tisdale works inside. Whistle, traveling violation on Tisdale. She tried to step, step through the trap. And so Barron County will have the basketball. It's 6.39 to play in the first half. Trailing Bowling Green by two. Husky back on the court now for Coach Calvin, head of the Lady Purples. Here comes Murphy, driving it down. Kicks it off in the corner to Lockhart. Fakes, drives it to the paint. Throws it back to the right side. Jackson thought about the three. Drives it left side, and then... Uh, 
Going to be a tied up basketball as Husky rates in tied up. Abe Jackson will be Bowling Green's ball in the alternating possession. She's got to pass it before she gets into that traffic. Or shoot that three at the top of the key. She's got to score tonight for us to have a chance with Elizabeth still a zero. James has returned the Bowling Green lineup, and so is Bailey. Bowling Green by two, 6-18 to play here in the first half. And Shelton with it on the right wing, feeds it down, knocked away by Lockhart, trying to feed it down low to Tisdale. They're going to try to go with a little high-low action with the two bigs in there, so we've got to make sure we clog the lane. And so James will toss it in, has to lob it out to Shelton. She's guarded by Murphy now. We'll send it around the perimeter over the left side. Jones, a long three. No good. And it's tapped up in the air and taken by Murphy. Good block out. Here come the Trojan S. Diagonal pass. Lockhart underneath the Jackson lays it in. Good block out. An even better transition game by the Trojan S. A 6-0 run by Barron County to come back to tie the game at 5.56 to play here in the first half. A 17-17 ball game as... Barron County scores the first four points of the second quarter. In that first period of play, Barron County was 6 of 14 in the field for 42.9%. Bowling Green was 8 for 13 for 61 and a half percent. And as far as rebounds, Barron County now rebounded Bowling Green the first quarter 9 to 6. Trojan Ads with four turnovers, Bowling Green with three. Like to hit a couple more of those three balls that we shot, only one of five, but uh, you're still hanging in there, hanging even with them through uh, this first part of the first half. Elizabeth Bertram only taking one shot in the first period. She does have two assists. She's assisted on two yeah. of our six buckets in the first period. And Carly Delk on the bench in foul trouble. She's got two on her. And it is Bowling Green's basketball. Stay in the zone. Timeout was brought to you by Willow Oaks Golf Club. Jones over the left side. Shelton in the corner. Bailey pulls the trigger. It's no good. Rebound to Murphy. Trojanettes want to run. Bounce pass over to Jackson. Jackson open three in the air. Bounces off the rim. Tisdale had it slapped out of her hands and out of bounds by Lockhart. It'll be Bowling Green's basketball. I can't really complain. I asked her to take the three while ago. That one was much different, however. She was falling to the side and didn't really have her feet stepping into the rim. That's why it missed on the side. 17-17. We played two and a half minutes of the second quarter. Shelton left side to Jones. Jones now gives it back over the left side to Shelton. They go into Tisdale, works it inside the paint, flips it back out now to Ava Bennett, who's in the ballgame now for Bowling Green. Three by Jones is off the mark. Tisdale throws it back up. No good, but a foul. He's got bullied that time to get that rebound. He pushed us out of the way, but not enough to fully extend the arms to get a foul on it. Foul is on Lockhart. That's her first. That'll be three on the Trojanettes here in the first half. Meadow Tisdale. 0 for 1 at the line. Had six points in the first quarter. 53% foul shooter on the year. Two shots. The first one is good. She gets, go ahead. Puts Bowling Green back on top, 18-17. She gets a double-double. That com- diminishes our chances of winning, I think, by a whole lot. She's already got four rebounds. Second shot for Tisdale. Comes off. Rebound Bennett. And then taken away from her by an Bertram then down on the floor, scrambling, jump ball possession arrow to Barron County. He didn't step back on the block out, let the smallest kid on the floor get the rebound. The Barron County's basketball comes into Katie Murphy. She'll be guarded by Ava Bennett. Murphy out front here on the left side, looking for Lockhart to come to set a screen. Dribbles to the right side. Now gives it off to Jackson. Jackson, long range right. Gets a screen from Ennis. Meadow Tisdale reached in, and they didn't call it. Here's Jackson kicking it back out to Lockhart. Here's Ennis. Going to fire it up. 17. Had it partially blocked underneath. James comes up with a basketball for Bowling Green. Gives it off to Jones. Jones wants to push it. Stops. Left elbow. Gives to Bennett. Bennett throws it out to James. James, right side to Shelton. Shelton, top of the key, has it swatted away, but Jones there to get it. Gives it off in the corner to Bennett. Gives it back out to Jones. Four and a half minutes to play here in the second quarter. It's a one-point ball game with Bowling Green, 18, Barron County, 17. Jones with it, looking, hooks it back over to Shelter, the left wing. They go down inside there to James. She puts it up and in. 20 to 17, Bowling Green with a three-point lead. 
Lockhart fakes, drives the basket, puts it up, shot it too strong against the glass. He clearly got pushed right in the middle of the back. And here's Jones, feeds it down to Shelton. Shelton on the dribble, wants to drive into the paint, forces up the shot, it's no good. Try to get her on rebound, goes to the floor, and they're going to call a foul on Elizabeth Bertram. That's going to be her first and Barron County's fourth. Bowling Green's basketball with 3.53 to play here in the second quarter. Leading 20 to 17. Shelton brings it out in the middle of the floor. Now looks and goes right side with it to Bennett. Bennett comes right side of the key, bounces back over to Shelton. Shelton down in the corner to Tisdale. Tisdale back out to Shelton. Now Shelton on the dribble. Long bounce pass left over to Jones. Back out to Shelton. Three and a half to go. Second quarter. Hit 17 in the first quarter. They only have three this quarter. This is shortening the game a little bit, but putting us on. Yeah. And now Jones can't shoot. They go with left side, deep three. Rims good. Wow. Had a little backspin on it and caught the back of the rim and fell in. That was Bennett. And here's Bertram driving, throws up the shot block, but a foul on Tisdale. And that's going to be her second. Lucky there. A lot of times officials, especially the way we've seen it in this region, uh, they don't bail out people going into traffic. Elizabeth got bailed out. She forced it. We'll have a chance to get her first points at the strike. 23-17, the free throw good for Elizabeth Bertram. Her first point tonight makes it 23-18. to And Bertram puts it in the air. Got them both. 23 to 19. Bowling Green with a four point lead. Shelton, right side over to Bennett. Now Bennett picks up her dribble, goes back to Shelton in the right corner. She's trying to penetrate, can't go, gives it back to Bennett. Now Bennett looking, bounces back out to Shelton. 2.48 to play the half. Bowling Green leads it by four. I'm not sure Bowling Green expected the zone. It's not on any film. Down in the corner is Bennett. They give it back out to Tisdale. She's going to stay in the game. She's going to drive in and throws up the floater. No good. Comes right back to her. Shot blocked, but a foul. That's why she's in the game right there. The Ravens. That's her first. Team's fifth. The so Tisdale goes back to the free throw line where she's one of three. ball game, Bowling Green. First shot goes up. It's good for Tisdale. We out-rebounded in the first quarter. I feel like they're out-rebounding us here in the second, though. Yeah. We don't have very many offensive rebounds. We're just one shot and done, a lot of them. Tisdale for the second free throw toss on the way, and it's going to come off. Ball hits the floor. Ennis picks it up. Murphy into the front court with it. Bounce pass long over to Lockhart on the left side. Lockhart back out to Murphy. Down to 222 to play in a half. Murphy penetrating lane, throws up the shot. Blocked by Tisdale and a foul. That's a big move by Katie Murphy. I don't know if it was intentional call from the bench or what, but that's some aggressiveness that we haven't seen very often. That was on Tisdale, right? I don't know. Free throw is up. It's good for Murphy. They didn't put it on the board that way. They put it up there. Uh, she's going to come out. James is coming back in. So Tisdale will be out for a while. I'm, I thought that's what they called. No, they didn't call it on him. Free throw is missed by Murphy. Long rebound comes off to Jones. Jones with it on the left side. Out to Shelton. Now Shel- Shelton goes left side to Bailey in the corner to James. Back out to Bailey. Now they give it to Shelton. Long range left. In the corner is Jones trying to go baseline. Throws up the shot over the rim. Ball tipped away. Chasing it down is Murphy. Trojanets have it. Trailing by four with a minute 50 to play in the first half. Ennis stops. Comes back out with it. Gives it to Murphy. She wants to penetrate back to Ennis for the long 18-footer. Missed everything. Short on it. Yeah. Here comes Jones with it. For Bowling Green. Loops it on the left side of Bailey. Bailey gives it back to Jones. Jones wants to go baseline. Down to minute 28. Here's a shot out of the corner. Good. A three-point shot for Jones. Oak Tree three for Bowling Green. 
Pushing the lead out to seven at 27 to 20. They called one on Shelton and the other two are on Tisdale. And here's Lockhart putting it in over the shot over uh, James. Kind of hesitated for a moment. Bailey on the other end misses the shot. Lockhart with a rebound gives to Murphy. Ahead up to Bertram. Bertram driving against Shelton. Stops. Head fake. Throws it up. Got it. Good move by Elizabeth to gather herself after she kind of bobbled it. 27 to 24. Bowling Green by three. 47 seconds to go in the half. They're going to pull it back out. Hold it for one here. Got to cover up that three-point line. That's keeping them ahead right now. Jones works against Bertram. Spins back to the right side. Leaves it off there with Bailey. Bailey comes into the key. That gives it off to Shelton with 28 seconds to play. Shelton. Angles off left. Throws it right. Top of the key, Jones. 18 seconds to go. Here going to have Jones and the lane. Shot no good, but a foul. Not sure who they put it on, Lockhart or Ennis. It's a tough angle for this official behind. They put it on Lockhart. Or no. Yeah, Lockhart. Yep. It's going to be her second, team sixth. He's got the behind angle. He's got the same angle we do, so you can't really tell where the foul is or if there's a block or if it's the arm. The Austin Jones at the line for Lady Purples. The free throw is in there. For her six point, she shoots 65.4% from the foul line on the season. Pushes the lead back out to 28-24 for the Lady Purples. Jones fires and hits again to make it 29-24 Bowling Green. Inbounds pass comes to Murphy. 13 seconds to go in the half. Lockhart waiting, putting down the dribble. Now sends it back over to Ennis. And it comes to Lockhart. Down to five seconds. Throws up an 18-footer. No good off the left side. Jackson tried to get to the rebound. And it's out of bounds. That will do it for the first half of play. It's Bowling Green 29 and Barron County, 24. Let's go to Brian Webb. Coach, from a fan's perspective, it looks like they've been, uh, whatever you do, and they implemented it. What do you, what, what say you? Hey, we just got to keep making sure we're rebounding and get that on shooters right now and pushing in transition. We just got to focus on the little things right now. Thanks, Coach. You know, Jay, I'm one of those guys. You could throw me out of an airplane at 12,000 feet. Uh, you could pretty much drop me off in Tijuana with a dollar, and I'd make it, but some reason Piper Lindsay gets me nervous. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. But I tell you what, uh, on a different level, back in about '87, I was stranded in the Sahara Desert. Were you born in '87? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was born in '73, big fella. <laughs> so uh, after about the third day, I started hallucinating, and all I saw—I don't care if it was a camel, if it was—all I saw was a double butter burger with bacon. <laughs> I could not wait to get rescued so I could get the Culver's on Scottsville Road. Welcome to Delicious Farm Fresh to Table. We'll be back in a few minutes. All right. We'll have our halftime report coming up next. Farm Bureau, Barron County. As we continue our coverage, it is Bowling Green 29, Barron County 24 here in the fourth region championship game. This is the Don Franklin Auto Glasgow. 